Hello, so this is Zara Northover coming to you live and direct from my apartment in Michigan. And how are you? I hope all is well. I just wanted to tell you first off that you are beautiful, you are amazing, and you are destined to do great things. We all need to hear that every once in a while. And um, we should be reminding ourselves of that on a day-to-day -day basis. Because God wants us to prosper. He does not want us to fail. He wants us to be successful. He wants us to be rich. And by rich doesn't necessarily mean rich in monetary standards, but rich in experiences, rich in love, rich in joy, and just rich in being sufficient and trusting in Him that He will provide for all of our needs and that we, He has given us talents that enable us to be capable of providing those needs for ourselves and others. So don't ever give up on the things that you are pursuing and know that God has a plan for you and those tests and those trials and the things that you're dealing with, you will get through them. So just keep pushing through them because it will form. It'll come together at some point and it'll be amazing. And you'll look back and say, huh, uh, look at that. Like, I was stressed out, and it all worked out anyway. So real quick, today I wanted to share about a portion of the meeting that I had with my pastor, Pastor Barbara Hill, this morning. It was absolutely amazing. She's such a woman of God, and um, she's real. Like, she just, she takes whatever the situation that you're going with on, go, that's going on within you, and she's able to break it down so this way you could understand and you see it in real terms and um, using obviously you know biblical scripture and faith and the Word of God and and it's just she's, she's just amazing but you know what she was talking about today was your faith and your flesh the faith walk the flesh walk in the sense where these two go hand in hand because we are of the flesh and we are human and yes we have you you may have faith you have i have faith so therefore in the case with me because i've been you know some days i'm not happy even though it's how do you answer someone that says how are you what if i'm not feeling good i'm not like i mean like but obviously i'm alive so i'm i'm grateful to be alive i'm happy to be alive and and it's a blessing to be alive but so may not be happy I'm, i might be sad I might be angry, I might be frustrated, like those feelings happen and sometimes I struggle because I just feel like because I have life and because I know how good God is and I don't have to be here when there's so many other things going on in this world, I struggle with saying, you know what, I'm not feeling that well or you know what, I'm upset or you know what, I'm not happy uh, because I feel like I have to be happy, I have to be um in a place where I feel positive and great all the time, whether that's really how I feel on the inside. But the truth is, I need to be honest with myself, and I need to be honest with God. If I'm frustrated about something, it doesn't mean that it makes me a bad person, or I don't have faith, or I don't believe in God. I'm just frustrated. If I'm upset or sad, I'm just upset or sad. Those things take place. and But because I'm a believer, and because my faith walk is still moving regardless of what my flesh is going through they they come together and they move together and together then eventually things work itself out and I truly am just happy and joyous and you know that was something she shared too happy is a, a world you know a world emotion in the sense but true joy People tear when they joy. True joy is that deep within. You know that everything is going to be okay because of the faith that you have and because of the word that you believe that God has got your back. You know that he's going to see you through and he wants you to prosper and not to fail. You know, he wants us to be successful and to be glorious in his name. He wants us to be rich. And by rich, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to have wads of cash and tons of money and nice cars and, and all sorts of things. If that's what you have, there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you're able to achieve, there's nothing wrong with that. But rich is the ex about the experiences and about the love that we're able to share, the things that we're able to do for one another, the life lessons that we've learned. And that's a part of being rich because... I mean, some rich people, you know, like rich people in a sense are people that have these things. You know, like they've seen the world, they know life, and if they die tomorrow, they could say, I've lived a good life. I've loved, I've lived, 
and I've truly enjoyed a purpose-filled life. You know, and, and whether that came with, with having tons of money or not having tons of money, they were still able to have everything they needed. And that is, if you have everything you need, then you are rich. You know what? I'm rich. You're rich. We're all rich because you have what you need. And that's, a, that's just a, a refreshing thing to look at. We're rich in Christ. Because we have him, we have everything. And the greater things are to come. Our falls are for our rises. Our downs will eventually go up. In our weakness, we are our strongest because that is when we take a step back and say, God, use me, help me, place me where you want me, and help me to move forward. So this way I could do unto you and for others and glorify your name every step of the way because all that I do and all that I am is because of you. And my life is to honor you. And no matter what I achieve, it's all for your glory. And being able to think that, see that, and know that, that, that's what really helps to get me through. But I can acknowledge that there are time, times are hard at times, and we all have our different situations. Some are worse, some might be worse than the next, but they're all are situations. Your stresses are your stresses, and things that are bothering you or cause you pain, you can't look at it and say someone has it worse than you so you feel bad because you feel the way you feel. You feel the way you feel and that is absolutely okay. You know what? But just don't stay down in the dumps. Put your faith walk to the test and keep believing and keep dragging that flesh along with you until they sync up together and you're moving in faith together and it's a consistent thing where you're educating others because we all need it. We all need our tests are for our testimonies, and we need to hear from one another because because of our stories, others are able to learn and realize that they too can be moving in faith, and they too can be joyous and happy and receive all that God has in store for us, so they too can be a blessing to others. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Pastor Barbara Hill, for just being an amazing woman in my life, and Pastor Carol Jackson, and all the Christian Love Fellowship my mom, my dad, who's passed away but is in heaven looking down on me, and so many other people. You have touched my lives in so many ways, and I know that God has put you in my life for a reason, whatever the time frame, and I will always love you and remember you for that. I hate no one. I don't have any malice towards anyone in my life. I love you all. So together, let's keep moving in faith and encouraging others to do the same. So have a blessed day, a fabulous rest of the week, and weekend when it comes. Mwah. Check out www.movinginfaith.com to get your shirt. And um, follow me on Twitter, at Zara Northover. Find me on Facebook. I'm here. I'm here for you. Love you all. Bye.